Alrighty guys, so I'm making this video right here because I wanted to talk about why I think the weekend is the most important part of the week. And I think about it a lot like a morning routine, right? Because if you sleep for three hours the night before your morning, and in fact, the whole day is gonna be awful. I think about the weekend the same way. And so in this video, I'm just gonna kinda take you through a Saturday and the things that I do that make sure I get rest and rejuvenated. Because if you're like me, you'd probably work straight through the weekend if you let yourself do it. So here are some things that, that I do to help. And also stick till near the end to see some cool deer and elk to hear about a Facebook group and a quick summary of what I do during the weekend. <laughs> I'm currently taking my own advice from the video yesterday or, or two days or three days ago for you guys. And I'm gonna go do something fun. Okay, so after wandering around looking for a place to park, I've finally made it to a parking spot. It's time to meander around to a place called Estes Park. That's that's really beautiful back there. So I just ran along a sidewalk that runs by a river and on the other side of the river are a bunch of restaurants and it was like I was rushing to get to the hospital through rush hour there were so many people in traffic jams my time on this run's going to be really strange all right so I'm at mile three it's been pretty difficult to get into a rhythm with that crowd and stop signs and stuff but I'm finally kind of on a more isolated road and so once I get up this hill it's all downhill from here so let's get going there right there's the top I have to admit Getting up here was brutal. My legs are dying. I still have like six miles to go, but all six of those miles are downhill. Also, there's one of the peaks right there. It's pretty cool. So I'm about halfway through the run, but this lake is beautiful and I just keep stopping and looking at it. Two very large bucks. Don't charge me, please. Super cool. I wasn't gonna cross the street right to me. That would be really cool. There's the car. We're back. We're done. That was a good run. It wasn't as long as it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be 10 and a half, ended up being nine. The amount of elevation gain in the run was way more than I'm used to, so that was really good. Now I'm craving a massive sandwich. Also, that's the smoke from a forest fire that you can see really clearly. Let's go get some food. So, sandwich is done. That tasted super good. So now I think I'm gonna find a coffee shop, read a book, chill out for a little bit. And it's a good thing, because there's one right there. All right, so as promised, here is the summary the breakdown of the things that I try to do during the weekend to help me get rested and rejuvenated. Number one is I leave, I disappear, I go away from the apartment. Because I live in a one bedroom apartment, it's pretty hard to separate myself from work and to not think about work. So I leave, I'm gone. I am somewhere else other than here. The other thing I do is I get active because I am right there 
basically all the time, except for some short runs and walks. So I get moving. And then another thing I do is I read. Now I made a video about if reading fiction is a waste or not. It's probably right here, there, there, or there. And I also can't say the word probably that well, but I do read fiction during the weekends just because it's relaxing and it's something that's engaging that is not work. Also, the Facebook group Jumpstarter Fam, ha, Jumpstarter Fam, great place to join if you're looking for a community of people that are gonna help you grow and get to your goals and the experience you want in college is linked in the description. I'll see you guys Friday.